So what's really one of the unique things about our spray gun is besides the fact that we make it down in our f uh, factory in San Diego, it's all stainless steel st inside, so all of your uh, fluid passages, not just your needle and nozzle, they're all stainless steel. So water-based, solvent-based, doesn't matter, it'll clean up with any gun washer uh, out there. Uh, I use acetone a lot to clean up my guns and it doesn't hurt them at all. There's no O-rings inside it, all the seal, there's only a couple seals in the side of, inside the gun and they're all Delrin and um, uh, Teflon. So they're really uh, arduous, very easy to clean and they don't break up, they don't fall apart and uh, they require replacement a lot. Uh, some of the unique features of the gun is we have a fan control that's located here in the front of the gun. So as I rotate this ring, I get the narrower or wider fan pattern. And as I rotate it all the way to the top, I get a round spray pattern. So that's where, you know, you guys were here earlier, you saw Lewis, we'll, we'll talk about it, um, we'll show you later, but you can get down to a little pencil thin line with this almost like airbrushing. Uh, to really, so for doing uh, touch ups and things like that, it's super nice. So it's more, more practical and easier to use than an airbrush for in that situation. Uh, it also has, the ability, this gun here, has the ability for both a top and a bottom feed. So we've got a gravity cup on this gun, uh, but the other gun here has the bottom connector on it, so I can actually attach a bottom cup or a top cup, or I can run it out of any pressure pot, and that's typically how the gun comes set up with our precision revive system. So just like Lewis is holding up over here, that's the typical cup gun setup. And that same gun, then you can just remove the nut at the bottom of the tube, or the top, rather, and switch it over, and now you can run it out of a gravity cup, too. So it's got complete versatility depending on what you're doing. Most guys in woodworking, especially spraying cabinets and that, I usually don't recommend a gravity unless you're spraying doors on a, on a, in, a, in a booth or something like that, because then, then you can get into it. But if you look at the overall footprint and the size of the spray gun when you're using a gravity gun versus a cup gun, because you have your cup hanging down underneath and you're using the handle as part of your um, as part of the overall height of the gun, you actually have a smaller footprint with a larger cup with a fourth cup on the bottom than you do with anything on the top. So just keep that in mind when you're selecting the cup choice that you're using. There is no advantage, I don't believe. It's pretty a, a preference thing uh, when you're using the, the, which type of cup you like, you know, uh, that you use. So there's no reason for you to have to use a gravity cup or for you to have to use a bottom cup. Well, there's some products that have to go through a gravity, like the, the metal stuff that we would spray has to be through the top. Really? Because I've sprayed automotive metallics and that and never had a problem out of the bottom. This is different. Yeah, okay. So there might be certain instances where you have to use gravity, but for the most part, most of your standard finishes that you're using in woodworking and that, you don't need to use gravity. But is most that, of them. Oh, sorry. Is that uh, a conventional air that you're talking about? HVLP. HVLP. Yeah, it's a specialized metal flake finish that he's oh, talking okay. about. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a very specialized finish. Yeah. Um, but typically, you don't need to do that. Um, and it's really a preference thing. So most of the guys that you see using um, gravity feed guns in woodworking have gone down to their local automotive shop and picked up an automotive spray gun, and that's what they're using. And that's why, because typically in automotive, that's 99% of the time they're using a gravity gun with, uh, with a top feed. Okay. Um, all of our systems are backed, with the Precision 5 comes with a five-year warranty. Um, we've got uh, specials running right now where we've got a whole setup, we're giving away an extra spray gun. So you can get, if, if you're, you're looking to get a system, we've got a, 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 not only the one gun that comes with it right now, but we're throwing in an extra $500 spray gun as well, part of the package for you guys. Um, I think, uh, that kind of covers everything I've got right now. I think the best thing is to uh, go in and start using it, and then as we use it, we can go through how to, you know, how we set it up, how the process of cleaning it, and we'll, we'll go through all that as the day goes on. Does anybody have any questions or anything that I can answer for you right now? I, I might have missed it, but the pressure pot system could be used without the pressure pot, right? You could use the gravity fed or the cup going on. Now. Yeah, so yeah, if you've got the pressure pot system, you don't have to use it with the pressure pot. You can leave it uh, mounted on there and then use the, the gun removing the hose and putting a cup onto it and use the basic bottom system so that you've got this portion of it and that you're using it with a cup gun. So yeah, so if you get the two quart system, you've got the versatility to go back and forth and you actually do. We set up the, the system so you get the cup with it as well. So it's not like you could buy the two quart pot, that's all you get. You're gonna get the two quart set up, but you're also gonna get the one quart pot that you can put with it too. So you have the versatility to use it as a cup gun or as a production system. 
I have a question. Is there any way that there could be some type of innovation to where we could regulate pressure at this point right here remotely to back here? That way when I do go up the ladder, it senses that I need more pressure to get the same pattern hmm. uh, up there. Nothing, that's something that we can look at, sure, but I haven't, uh, we haven't had anybody ask me for that. Because to me, that's where it matters, you know, most. And then the other thing I was going to ask, is there a way that we could have like a Bluetooth or a remote to turn the pressure up? Like that I'm working. Airlesses? That I'm working. Because if I'm up on a ladder, and you know, the last thing I want to do is drop back down, wrap around the island and adjust. Yeah. You know? yeah. No, we're actually working on uh, either Bluetooth or wireless. I'm hoping to have some kind of an app or something here soon that we can awesome. Control the machine with the, with the, with an app on your phone. Yeah. For long, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, <laughs> Drone, yeah that would be nice, right? Yeah, we can, we, we don't have to physically do the work anymore. That would be the best. <laughs> so thank you very much, John, for giving that amazing presentation on HVLP sprayers. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Please leave your questions and comments if you got any questions or comments for me or John about HVLP spraying and cabinet finishes. And like we always say, we'll see you on our next video. Out.